Hi there, this is Michael Becker. And in this Tinderbox lesson, I'm gonna explain how to create a pure markdown template in Tinderbox for helping you write uh, markdown and getting markdown out of Tinderbox. I'm not gonna get into the details of how and why you would wanna use markdown. Uh, this is more of a training of the mechanics of wanting to do it. But uh, just to summarize, one of the reasons why you'd wanna do it is the notation of markdown is uh, a great way of uh, writing some quick and dirty HTML. Uh, it's also a uh, necessary if you're using uh, tools like Pandoc for processing uh, your files, and especially when they include inline academic citations or professional notation. Um, so with that in mind, let's go, go ahead and just jump right in and I'll show you how all of this works. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start by just demonstrating a basic um, Tinderbox templating capabilities and then we'll get right into Markdown. So I've got a, a basic Tinderbox file here. I'll call this note one and I'll give it my lorem ipsum text. I've got text expander installed here. So that way, and I'll go note two, note two child, and I'll add in some text. All right, so uh, if I now drop that in there and we go open up the pane selector, and there you go. So you'll see I'm previewing the text. I'm not seeing note two. Well, the reason why is because we don't have a template installed. So if I go ahead here and add the HTML template into Tinderbox, Tinderbox immediately processes these notes and it does it so using the, um, the, uh, the HTML templates. And so the template's basically saying, you know, process the notes, wrap it with the HTML text, make the headers wrapped around with an HTML1 tag, um, and then process text. Uh, and then for your children, wrap them around and process them with heading twos. So that's an example of um, the basic templating methodology uh, within Tinderbox. Again, I've got other videos that you can learn about how to do that. Now, how and what do we do about this with Markdown? So let's say we wanted to get Markdown out um, of our Tinderbox. So rather than having our files rendered as HTML, we want our files rendered as Markdown. Now I've got a lot going on in this file and I'm just gonna briefly explain some of it. First and foremost, um, I've got references to previous uh, trainings I've done with Markdown. Um, you can learn about Markdown parsers here, look at ATB ref, learn, learn about the Markdown common engines, uh, mark the Markdown syntax, um, and the HTML3 schools on, on, to learn more about HTML. Um, when you're using Markdown within Tinderbox, as, as noted before, uh, there's a number of triggers within Tinderbox that are flags, such as these Boolean flags use markup versus markdown. Um, these are mechanics we can explain at a later date. Um, but let me just uh, emphasize some basics of um, using uh, uh, markdown syntax. So here you'll see, uh, and essentially I've applied the markdown uh, template, uh, pro, excuse me, I've applied the markdown prototype uh, to this particular note. Um, and so what that has done is it's turned on and off uh, the markdown, uh, the markup uh, flag. It's also turned on the markdown. And let me go ahead and show this to you just so you see it. HTML. It's also turned on and made set to true the, the markdown uh, uh, boolean. So essentially we're saying process this note with markdown, uh, 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 process the text of this note knowing that there's markdown syntax within this note. Um, so these are some of the flags within Tinderbox that helps you do that. I've actually created, I don't personally use the, the, the built-in markdown prototype, I'm creating my own. And so I created a stamp that I used that converts those flags for me. And what it also allows me to do is change the color of a note so that I know that if a note is uh, a markdown syntax, it's gonna be pink and it's going to use the common mark engine. Uh, and this is where I'm telling with my stamp to turn those, those uh, elements on and off. Now, when we look at this particular note then, you'll see here if I have, and by the way, markdown uh, processors do process HTML. Um, but if you'll see here, I've got H1 tags around this heading. Here I've got a, a pound one, which is the syntax for making a heading one in Markdown. Two pounds is for heading twos. Three pounds is for heading threes. Two asterisks are for bulleted, te uh, bulleted text. And asterisks here are for bullets. And if I go ahead and hit preview, you'll see that it's all being properly processed by the engine into HTML as expected. Now, in this context though, what we want out of this demo is not to have Tinderbox 
process uh, the HTML in this way. What we want is to have Tinderbox actually give us the pure unprocessed markdown. So how do we go about doing that? Well, we need to create a template for that. So rather than using the HTML template, which is instructing Tinderbox to wrap all of this text and processes at HTML, what we want to do is we want to use, have developed our own markdown template. And so that's what I've done here. And you'll see what I'm telling Tinderbox is to say, you know, if the outline depth of this node is one, then make it a heading one. If the outline depth is num two, then make it a heading two. And you'll see what I'm it, you, here. You'll see it's outline depth one if it's at the root of the folder. It's two if it's nested in. It's three or four. And so three, outline depth three, outline depth four. And that's just another attribute here. So now when I want to go and render this, uh, this note, um, you'll see here that uh, it's going to return this formatted text rather than HTML text. And so let me show you the difference. I'm going to go uh, to, up to this note here. The, uh, I'm going to tell it, all of the notes that are with prototype um, um, uh, P note, I want you to process with the HTML. I got to fix that one there. Process with the HTML and voila, it's all being processed with HTML. Now what I want to do is I want to tell P note to process everything with the simple markdown processor. And by the way, I think I broke the inheritance on this when I was doing the training different earlier, HTML. So let me fix that. This is a nice little um, export template. Yep, you'll see here, I, I, I broke the inheritance when I was doing earlier training. So I'm gonna go reset that. So it's getting from P notes. And now I'm gonna go and say, hey, I want you now to use the simple markdown template to do this. So rather than rendering this note in HTML, I want you to render the note in Markdown. Now watch what happens. Hit preview. And now I'm getting the whole note properly rendered in Markdown. And so now I've got a pure Markdown note that I can now export to, uh, you know, and pull out rather than the HTML, HTML note. And again, let's take a look. If I do HTML, it all processes in HTML. If I do Markdown, it all processes in Markdown. So that's how you create a simple Markdown template within Tinderbox. Now, you'll notice here though, I've got this concept called process versus not process. And this is really important. If you see here, I'm getting uh, the export code in this particular note that's unprocessed. So if you see here, I'm saying, you know, see value URL. And what this exports code is uh, intended to do is to pull the value of the URL or the name or any other attribute for that matter into the body of this text. Um, and when I go and preview it, it's like that. And you'll notice here, if I apply the HTML template and I look at the note, it actually is pulling in the URL. So what's going on? Well, what's going on there is the way um, uh, Tinderbox processes um, the different export codes. And let me give you a simpler example. So I've got a note up here that says, here's some text that exports codes. Uh, it's got exported code embedded in the text in the text, let me fix that typo. And you'll see I've got this now. Now, if I say, if I use the plain version template, so here I've got a plain version template and I'm using the export code value. And what this export code value says is go get me the value unprocessed of the attribute text or URL or name or whatever other attribute you're using. And when I do that and I hit preview, you'll see I get the value of the text of this note that is completely unprocessed. Um, and so I'm getting the, 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 the text without it being uh, rendered by Tinderbox. Now, if I go look at the process version, the other syntax in Tinderbox is say, just go get me the, the attribute text. And this, is, this syntax is telling Tinderbox to process it. So if I now go and look at this and I change to the process version of it and I hit preview, now you'll see it's different. So Tinderbox has actually pulled the value of the URL from the attribute URL and stuck it into the text. So look, not processed, processed. And so that's really, really important when you're doing your, um, uh, your any of your templating, but particularly with the markdown, in that case here, if I go, I've got unprocessed, the URL is not getting stuck in, processed, and now I'm, act, I'm still getting my markdown uh, elements, um, but I'm not getting the, um, headings here. So let me go ahead here and make sure that all of these are in the right template. 
And so there you go. So I had I, I had uh, uh, broken the inheritance on those other notes as well. So you'll now see all of them are getting the template and they're being properly processed. Uh, in this case, if I want to go back to the pure version, you'll see that I'm getting the pure. So that's how you create a, um, uh, and you can use these samples I've got here on how you want to create a pure um, HTML uh, or, or HTML versus markdown um, templates within your within your note. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna. This is just a little side trick that you want to use if you've messed up and broken your inheritance uh, between notes. Uh, go ahead and apply, and essentially what that does is that's now reassigned the. Um, the, all of the notes to their um, to the uh, to the prototype that I, I, I want them to be using and so let me go ahead and make sure they've all got the right prototype and so now all of those notes will be getting the uh, the, uh, the 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 HTML template from its prototype so the other thing I wanted to show you here is more of an advanced markdown template so this is one of my personal files and you'll see here I'm writing a book uh, within tinderbox it's about a 250 page document uh, and I use kind of uh, not pure nor, nor, nor um, fully processed files, but if you take a look here, I've got a really extensive markdown template that essentially is not just pulling from the outline depth of the tinderbox, but actually uh, dynamically uh, creating an outline depth strategy for my formatting. Uh, it's also determining uh, what to do if you're a quote versus uh, a media file in, in the file. Uh, and then it goes through and explains, in, in, in much like I just showed you, how to create that markdown styling. And again, I do this because I use a Pandoc processing engine to get my citations out of my, uh, my document. So now if I go ahead and take a look at this whole file, you'll see that Tinderbox has dutifully gone through and processed my entire book. Um, and uh, not pure markdown because I actually want some of this to be uh, properly formatted, um, like the bullets and, and some of the images, etc. But now you'll see I'm getting a complete book, um, totally written uh, in, in markdown, and, and it's ready to be exported and published out of my Tinderbox file. So this gives you an example of um, what you can do uh, to create a markdown template in Tinderbox. And I'll hopefully, uh, you know, uh, in that last little uh, example, stimulates your interest to see uh, you know, how you know, just absolutely fantastic Tinderbox can be doing for writing extremely long content. And like in the context, I was just showing you a 250 page book that I wrote in less than a month. Um, so with that in mind, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, training. Bye bye.